Hello from Germany. It's beautiful out right now. It's about 50 degrees. Sorry, 10 degrees. It doesn't look beautiful, but it feels it. I've got 2%, 1%, so let's see if I can get this done. So far this week, I spoke in church on Sunday, spoke for about 20 minutes in German. I think it went really well. People came up and talked to me afterwards. Most of them just complimented me on the story, which was actually President Uchtdorf's story, so I don't get any credit for that. One lady specifically called out the fact that she could understand every single word I said, which I thought was nice of her. <laughs> and also, the Broncos are going to the Super Bowl. I stayed up for it, watched the whole game. Uh, I was going nuts in here. Sarah was already asleep, so I was trying not to wake her up. But I was going crazy. I'm so excited. Okay, so being a foreigner is a little bit of an adjustment. Um, there's obviously big, big changes uh, living in a different country. But for me, it's like the smaller ones are almost more noticeable. For example, my cell phone number starts, it has a leading zero. I, I have a hard time taking myself seriously when I have to tell someone my phone number. Uh, and here's the second one. I, I guess I should have already known this because the Super Bowl starts at the same time every year. But I was just making sure I Googled it. Super Bowl 50 is on Monday. That ain't right. So when we moved out here, one of the biggest questions that everyone asked us was how were we going to follow the Broncos? Um, I got to admit that I was worried about that myself. Uh, I also really don't like watching the games afterwards, so I was hoping that I'd be able to watch them live. Uh, it is possible to find these games on the internet uh, via legitimate means. Well, semi-legitimate means and also illegitimate means. Um, I didn't watch very many games during the regular season, particularly any of the afternoon and evening games are too late over here. I've never really been big on recording games and watching them later. I think that that, I don't know, I always have to find out what the score was, and at that point, it's not really quite as entertaining to watch, uh, to sit through the whole thing. So, I have watched a lot of games during the regular season. Uh, for the playoff games, uh, CBS actually streams. They stream the AFC Championship game, and they're going to stream the Super Bowl live over the internet uh, for free. And it works in Germany, which is awesome. So we'll be watching the game uh, come midnight or come next Monday morning, which we're really excited about. Uh, we do see some American sports influence here, so I want to talk to Sarah about that. So I'm here with our expert, Sarah Gore. I wanted to ask her some questions about what it's like being an American sports fan here in Germany. So Sarah, what, what, when you see people wearing, you know, hats or shirts, what kind of, what, what teams are represented the most out here? I think the Chicago Bulls are the number one team I see most often. And I see a lot of New York Yankees stuff as well. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. I, I maybe would put the, the Yankees at number one. Yankees hats are really popular. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen anything Yankees other than a Yankees hat. What about uh, Broncos rivals? Have you seen very many Oakland Raiders? Yeah, there's a ton of Oakland Raiders hats, which is strange. Yeah, the week of the last Broncos Raiders game, I saw four Raiders hats. The only time I ever saw anything Broncos <laughs> was at the Frankfurt airport waiting to get on a flight to Denver over Christmas. Um, what, what are other big teams? What about like the Lakers? I expected to see some Lakers stuff out here. Have you? I was too. I've only seen one Lakers hat. Um, there's a sports store that I walk by and I also saw some like in the store so no one was wearing it, but Memphis Grizzly stuff. So that was kind of surprising for me. Yeah, I think that's surprising. That's surprising even in Tennessee. <laughs> All right, the one last one. Uh, the team I would have expected to see from American sports would be the Dallas Mavericks because of their star player, Dirk Nowitzki, who of course is German. Have you seen any Dallas Mavericks stuff? No Dallas Mavericks here at all. Yeah, I haven't either. All right, well, we're getting excited for the Super Bowl on Sunday, as we've already discussed. So I wanna know if you got a prediction for the final score. I wanna say, 27-17. Who wins? Broncos win. That's right. Go Broncos. Go Broncos.